Yes, uh, welcome to New York, to my uh, small bar here in Hamburg. I'd like to welcome uh, Gosh TV uh, here. Appreciate for visiting us. I'd like to present you a drink which is called uh, the Gin Basil Smash. It's a very simple drink. It's made by, you could imagine, it's basil in it. Or basil, I don't know the English pronunciation. And it's a lemon. It's a little bit gin and a little bit sugar. It's a very easy drink. So uh, we invented this last summer. It was a little bit... We were not too serious by doing it, but it was somehow because we were writing about it and it, it uh, exploded last summer. So lots of German bars started to make this drink because it really gets um, a popular drink in Germany, which gives us a lot of tribute and we are very proud of this. Um, at one point, the gin basis smash, as I said, is not so serious and really, I like the drink because it is a drink to take over our customers. To take over, to have customers here who say, well, this is a nice place, we like to be in this bar. Um, but at one point, they, they are not too deep into mixology and into mixed drinks and they say, hmm, basil sounds somehow interesting. And we show them a classic preparation, which is called a smash. And we added a little bit of basil to make it a little bit let's say funny, maybe it's the wrong word, but to make it not too serious, to take over people who are not into mixology, but to make them interesting into classic drinks. And it works very well. So it's a simple drink. It's a shaken drink. I was influenced by the, the big fathers, modern fathers and mothers of our trade. Uh, I was once a year tried to go to New York and I was sitting in a Pegu club and they served whiskey smashes and I got addicted. I was like could you please tell me how you do it because I love this drink. So thank you Mr. Sanders, it was a great drink, a great evening. Sanders looked in our old new books and like David Groff and all these guys were writing about smashes again and that's why I was influenced by doing a smash. We do a gin basil smash or the whiskey smash, a regular smash is used to fresh mint. We take basil, we take a half a lemon, I cut this before, put it inside and then you have to Seriously, um, smash it. I will do that downstairs. What we found out, it's interesting, um, we started to work with these types of shakers, which are both, it's a kind of Boston without a mixing glass. And what's interesting, if you use that, it always gets greener if you use green basil. You also can, you can use red basil, then it gets redder. I don't know if it's the English right word. But uh, what I found out, if I use both metal cups, the color is more and more intense. If I use a Boston shaker, that never works. I don't know why. Even I can model crazy, but it doesn't work. So this is a gym base. So let's just put... Sorry, I forgot the sugar. So like all sour base drinks, it's about the balance of sugar and lime, uh, lemon. The trick with a basil smash is... Um, you never know how much juice is in the lemons, so you should try this mixture of sweet and sour once before. Normally it's like 20 ml on half a lemon, but you never know how juicy the lemons are. So when then it's um, about 60 ml of uh, quality gin, some people say. And it belongs, if you would do it for Jay Hepburn, you may put 80 mils in it. If it's a really lovely lady, you put 50 mils in it. So it's Just shake it a little bit hard. This is a gold of the bar, but don't get too hard on it. So a fine strain is always recommended for these drinks, because there are lots of base in it. Normally a, a smash is done on, um, on cracked ice, I think, it's a kind of nugget ice. We start preferring it on serving it on ice cubes, extra hard, but it's not the typical way you serve a smash.
also a decoration is a, a nice leaf of basil. And uh, welcome to Le Lyon. Enjoy your German basil smash. Thank you.